Hello folks, it's David Connolly here and I hope you're doing well. Today was interesting, I live streamed this Framework Wars, Framework Wars, I thought I could do it live and I thought that would be kind of cool and I found this Laravel tutorial, I really uh, enjoy whooping Laravel, you know, and it was one of the ones that came out from Clubber recently and uh, uh, we call him Clubber by the way because he said he wanted to get me in a boxing ring. Just like Rocky 3, you know. So anyway, Clubber has this 4 hour tutorial on YouTube. It's just 4 hours and 18 minutes. And he builds this system. And I thought to myself, right, game on, let's go. So I set up and I actually live streamed this. And uh, I was doing pretty well. I was going through the different phases. I managed to map it out and so on. And I was confident that this was going to be another grand whooping and everything was really fast and beautiful and everything great admin panel everything fantastic but then uh, I ran into a brick wall and you can see actually two associated gig tags here you can see what went wrong so what went wrong is if you look at the different records here you'll see that they've got these associated tags if I click you in do you see how that one says Laravel and API and view right so this is what's called a many-to-many -many relationship and it happens all the time in web development where you've got a table, in this case gigs, another table like gig tags and those two tables are related with what's called a many-to-many -many relationship and you want to loop through the records but show all of the associated gig tags and this is something that uh, I kind of botched it up first time and then I was like, okay, we won't count now, we'll start again and then I botched it up second time. Now when I say I botched it up, I don't mean that I failed the task, I just mean that I got it going but it was too slow, it was taking me 15 minutes and when you're doing, when you're combining data that way, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. You can do a table join and then loop through the table join and extract and all of that stuff. Or you can do two queries and then combine arrays and things like that. But whichever way you go, I am not able to find a fast way of doing this. This is one of these rare instances where it's a problem. And twice in a row I did this and I was just like, oh, none of this is working, you know. So... What I decided to do was, because this is something that appears all the time in web development, this type of situation where we're looping through records and we want to show the associated records, you see this all the time, especially for things like discussion forums. Well, I figured, let's just build something into module relations that handles this. And that's exactly what's happened. So I'm not going to do a framework wars with this one anytime soon, at least not now, but I am going to show you the solution that I built and I hope that you like this. So here's my gigs module here, right? And what we'll do, uh, we have a table called gigs, right? So I'll make up a little method called test and I'm just going to say that rows is this model and we're going to get an order by ID. Now if I say JSON rows and then I'll I'll take you over to gigs forward slash test. There are the rows, okay? So this is from the gigs table. Now I should show you what's happening from a database perspective here. We've got a table called gigs and uh, the gigs table looks like this. No big deal, right? Now there's another table called gigs tags. Looks a little bit like this, kinda simple. And there is a third table called Associated Gigs and Gig Tags. This is a classic many-to-many -many relationship type structure. And again, it gets used all the time. So the question is, okay, we've got the admin panel and all of that stuff, but how do we get the beautiful page that looks like this? The type of page that you build all the time, where we loop through the rows and we, so we show the associated records. Well, here's the new way. You don't have to do this, 
But what you can do is you can say data calling module is gigs. That's the name of the module that's making this call. Then we're going to say data alt module. This is the alternative module. That's called gig tags. Then we're going to load up a module. Which module? Module relations. Now that's one that gets created automatically whenever you generate a module relationship. Here it is right here actually. And inside module relations, there is a thing called add associated records to array, a thing. It's a method and it's a new method. So I'm going to call, I'm going to say actually rows is this module relations add associated records to array. You can see that I'm passing in the rows. You, the rows, you can see that I'm passing in the data. Hello. I'm going to save and take you back here. Now, keep an eye on these records as we hit refresh. And now you can see that in a flash, we have all of those gig tags added as an array with everything that we could possibly hope to access there. And it all just happens instantly. That, my friends, is a solid 15 minutes saved. I hope you like it. I'll catch you later.